Convicted rapist investigators say murdered a Cedar Hills woman in 2014 heard closing arguments in his case today. The emotional trial has lasted all week, and the family of the woman who was killed has been there every step of the way. Christine Pitawanich is live in Hillsborough at the Washington County Courthouse. Christine, bring us up to date. I can tell you that things just wrapped up inside the courtroom. In fact, there was hours of closing arguments today. Take a look at some of the video that we just got from inside of the courtroom. Today, Jaime Tinoco walked into the courtroom, then for the majority of the closing arguments, sat slumped in his chair. Tinoco is accused of stabbing and killing Nicole Lobby in August of 2014 at a Cedar Hills apartment complex when he was 17 years old. Prosecutors say he was trying to rape her. Today, in closing arguments, the prosecutor argued Tinoco made a voluntary confession, confessed to every element of the crime, and knew specific facts no one else could know, describing the location, Lobby's scream, and her clothing. The defense argued Tinoco was mentally ill when he confessed. The attorney questioned investigators' interrogation tactics, alleging police fed Tinoco details and facts. Listen to what both attorneys had to say to jury members inside the courtroom. A very otherwise innocent young woman was taken from the earth. Uh, it was a thrill kill. Uh, it was a sex kill, uh, plain and simple. So now I'm asking you to give Mr. Tinoco the benefit of the doubt. Back out here live, Tinoco is convicted of raping a woman back in 2014 at Autzen Stadium. And detectives say they believe it happened a month after they say he killed Lobby. Tonight, though, no verdict expected quite yet. Jury members should be coming back on Tuesday. Back to you.